Hey, so today I wanted to talk about healthful workplaces, healthy workplaces. Uh, I was working with a team this week who are right in the middle of some murky, kind of foggy, swampy human stuff about how they work together. And um, so they got together and one of the questions that they asked of themselves was, why do we choose to come together? What are our connection points? Why is it important for us to be here as a team as opposed to doing our own thing? Um, which was a great question to ask, and I've been reflecting on it all week. And so what's evolved for me over the past few days has been a second question, which is around when we come together and we connect, how do we ensure that our interactions are healthy? Full. How do we make sure that these connection points build our health and resilience rather than simply becoming more um, draining and an overhead like so many team meetings that we do, but you know, bigger than just the one meeting? How do we ensure that the, the team is coming together in a healthy way and that that's inspiring and engaging and healthy for everybody involved as opposed to the other side of things, which can be stressful and, and all of that. So the reason this is important is because it has ripples. When we go home tired and stressed every day, that has an immediate effect on our family and our close friends and all of our loved ones. And that ripples out in the way that those people then interact with their network and so on and so on. And so you can see that we must take accountability for this on both a personal level, um, but also within our organizations so that we're not doing damage. We're not sending people home tired and stressed to their family um, and their, their loved ones and perpetuating that ripple. Um, what we want to be doing is ensuring that we're actually enhancing the lives of our peers and our colleagues and our teams. And that's more than simply abating their fear that they won't meet their bills uh, if we don't send them a monthly paycheck. It has to be more than this. And health has many, many facets too. We have a physical level. We have a mental level. We have an emotional level. And we have a spiritual level to our health. And so when we think about health, it needs to be about all of those levels. And health is not always a positive and easy thing, right? It doesn't mean that we always focus on the good at the at the descent of bad. It's, it's not about stopping having the hard conversations. Um, for anyone who's had a personal trainer, you know that uh, sometimes <laughs> health can mean a bit of pain. Um, it takes work. It takes effort um, to build a muscle. And sometimes it's sore for a couple of days afterwards after we've done that. But as you build that muscle, your strength improves, your metabolism improves, your self-confidence and your ability to perform improves. And that starts to ripple out. You stand taller, you're more grounded, and you have the confidence to speak your truth, but also with the humility that knows that it's come from hard work and putting in that work. And so my challenge for you today is, what are you going to do this week in your organization to improve the healthfulness of your team or your organization as a whole? And it doesn't mean that you have to be out there installing a gym or an outdoor soccer field. It's those baby steps that put us on the path. So leave a comment for me below and let me know. What are you going to do today, this week, to improve the healthfulness of your team and your organization? Let's go get them.